Hello and uh, welcome everybody to a new video! Today, we're going to be doing something, another Gran Turismo video, obviously. This is going to be probably the future theme of my channel. But what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be driving the Chaparral 2J around the Nürburgring at night with no HUD, no assists whatsoever other than ABS. I'll keep that on because I sort of need that. And, um... Looking at the front of this car, you might see a problem with driving at night. We have got no headlights at all. So that might make that endeavor at least a little difficult. And this is a very difficult car to drive on a very difficult section of track, being a being the Nürburgring. And we're gonna be doing the 24 hour layout and I'm gonna try and make it as dimly lit as possible. And the best way to do that Right, I'll show you the best way. The best way to make the track as dimly lit as possible. Now, you could go to the time trial, right? But the problem with time trial is that it only has a few set weather options, and those weather options are usually, uh, if I go into here, only uh, night. Now, the thing is with that, is if you go to the race options in here for the 24 hour layout, you can go, custom weather and set it to midnight, which is even darker again. Night still has some sunlight just peering over the horizon, just a little bit, just enough to slightly illuminate your way. Midnight has nothing, you have moonlight, starlight, that's it, that's everything you have. And what I'm going to do to try and make it feel a bit more like it's just me driving the car, right? I'm going to set two opponents um, and I'm going to set it to professional, of course, and it'll be a one mate race. So it'll be another Chaparral. Now I don't plan to actually race against this Chaparral. I only plan to uh, finish the race without too many incidents. Now I'll try and race against the best I can, but the um, AI have no problem driving in the dark. Their problem is driving in the rain, but absolutely no problem in the dark. The dark does not affect the um, opponent's driving performance, unless they're an online player, of course. But um, uh, yeah, this would be a pretty interesting race, I think, if I can even get around the track in one piece, because I do drive around this track quite often, I must say. And also, for anybody wondering, this is going to be on PS4 Pro with a controller, not a wheel. So, if you're watching some really weird movements, it's because I'm not actually using a wheel, I'm using a controller. And, um, which I think makes it more difficult, I'm going to say it does. So, another element of difficulty. And you can see the track is very dark indeed. Only lit up by the grandstands across here and certain bits of lighting near the um, Marshall Towers on the sides of the track. And everything about this car is stock standard other than tyres. All of these have not been changed. Actually, I think I changed the um, differential, changed that down to 5. But, other than that, and the racing soft tyres, everything else here is completely stock. So what we're going to do is we're going to race this thing full speed ahead. Now you're about to see how crazy this is going to be. Oh, the rev of this engine, man. The revs. And off we go. Frick, this thing's difficult to launch. Okay, I cannot launch it. I must mention that much. Um, heavy on the brakes. Oh, it's very, very dark. I can barely see the track. The AI does not have such a problem. Whoa. I also cannot see my rev counter most of the time, which also doesn't help me very much because not being able to see a rev counter is uh, quite a disadvantage. And, but lucky for me, this thing only has three gears, so that might be a bit of a benefit. And this car is extremely um, good around high speed corners and low speed corners, actually. But the problem is, once you do lose any sort of traction, you really lose traction. Like, you don't just spin and just recover. You spin and you fly around because of the way this thing generates downforce. For anybody that doesn't know, ooh, that's off the track. But anyway, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, the Chaparral has basically vacuum cleaner looking things for the most basic explanation possible on the bottom of the car, which suck it to the ground. 
And this car was built in the 1970s, so that was very much ahead of anything else in terms of downfalls. I wouldn't say it's ahead of its time because nobody uses that today, really, as far as I know. And I think that's because it's very difficult to get those reliable without um, picking up rocks and debris from the racetrack while trying to get more downfalls. So um, that's the main reason I think, and the fact that at the time, in the 1970s, nobody wanted it to be, uh, because nobody wanted it to be part of the racing because it was, well, way faster than everything else when it actually raced the whole race without spinning out. But this car is one handful to drive, I'll say that. Now there is a bit of light around this part of the circle, although there are some parts which are so dimly lit I will get absolutely no view of the track. Like just down here, there's almost no view of the track. So I'm also driving this manual, there are no assists at all other than ABS, of course, I'll turn on ABS. And, um, whoa, that's the track edge, that's off the track. Okay, we're back on the track now. So it's very, very dimly lit. Very, very difficult part of, um, difficult thing to do because I've got no headlights at all. No lighting. See, this section here, I'm just judging by where I can see the curves and where I have to brake and where I have to steer and where I have to accelerate. Oh, this is pitch black. I can't see anything. I can see nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have no idea where I am. I'm trying to keep the speed up as best I can, but without knowing exactly where I'm going to be and what part of the track I'm on, it's incredibly difficult. And, um, ooh. Here we go, around that section of the corner. Whoa. The thing is, the AI hasn't pulled away too much without not having the disadvantage of no headlights, because the AI drive basically like they've got headlights, but the AI in this game are very, very slow. So even me driving in the most difficult... Where'd the AI go? Did that just appear to drive a bit like, almost like teleport? I don't know if that was just me. I saw it and then I didn't. See, like that. Oh, it's because he's got his brake lights on and then he turns them off and I can't see his car again. That's what it is. Oh, I've driven off the track. I know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> but this is incredibly difficult. So... I would actually like, I would challenge some of you viewers to actually try this. See if you can beat my lap. I'm pretty sure you could, especially if you're using a wheel and stuff like that. But try and turn all assists off, except for ABS. Try and turn off the HUD and everything like that. And just see how fast you can go around. See if you can do this. And if you want an added danger, then, I don't know, try it in the rain. I'm not going to because, well, I might try it in a later video. Oh, I can't see any of the track here at all. Where do I break? Where am I? See, you can see the, the, where the marshals are. That's all lit up. Everything else isn't. So I don't know where I'm going. And I actually thought, that, whoa. And you can't see a chaparral ahead of you either unless he's on the brakes. So that's basically the best indicator of where I'm actually supposed to be going. Holy cow, I can't see just about anything. I'm all running this off memory. Oh my gosh, but my memory isn't very good. Oh, I don't know where the track is. Oh no, this is a sharp corner at the end of that. Oh no. I'm very happy I didn't turn vehicle damage on. I was um, considering that. I'm very happy I didn't because I don't think I would have ever finished a lap in that case. And around the corner you go. Whoa. Now this is the first, uh, what do they call them? Carousel. This is the first one. Oh, oh, this is so dimly lit, I can't even see it. Oh, oh, oh. There's a lot of the track I cannot see. Oh, huge amount of the track I cannot see. Whoa. Now I just need to... Oh, no, I've gone well off the track. I'm rubbing off a barrier here. Don't take that out of context, please. <laughs> oh, no. Keep, keep it in context, please. Um, oh, this is a very... See, I know this track quite well, but without being able to see the majority of it, I might even try and beat the AI at this. But I, that's something I didn't expect to be able to do, actually, but maybe I can. Because the AI, I'm so slow in this game, 
that I could probably outrun them without being able to see. This is like bordering on being blindfolded while going around the racetrack. This is probably the closest you can get to that. Oh my god, I can't see anything here. Where's that? Where's the... See, screw it going on the racing line. I don't even know where the racing line is. There's the other chaparral. I want to try and overtake him. Oh, but I can't see the track. That's... Yes, I know what part of the track this is. And this was that professional as well. I hate how slow the AI is. If I can do this and outrun the AI. That's so, so bothersome. I know they're gonna update the AI in the future because I've seen all the AI um, demonstration things for the future of the professional level AI. I think they call it Sophie because Sony is completely digital, stuff like that, so that's what they ended up calling it. And I think that's a very, very cool AI system, but the current one really needs work, so. And I know I won't be able to keep up with a top tier AI, but I know they'll have better, uh, better set difficulty levels for the AI. I might even outclass this guy around here. Oh my gosh, if I can outrun him, I can't see him. I can see a little bit of a shadow of a blocky looking car. I think I'm gonna rear end him and have no idea where he is. Oh, I see him. I see him just a little bit there. Oh my gosh, where's the track? I can't see the track, but I can see the guys. But oh, yep, that's the outside of the track there. Yep, that was the outside. Okay. Now where? Oh, there's the curb. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no, I'm not going to outrun the AI because I have completely spun out of control. Now I have no idea where I am. Oh my gosh. Hey look, I get some nice green illumination saying that go. That's a lot of big green go. Okay, so it is definitely possible to beat the AI around here if you don't spin out right there. I think I should have lifted maybe going up there. But anyway, cross the line. Here we go. That's across the line. Let's see how fast that is. Let's see how long that took me to do that. I spun what? I think I spun once and went off the track two or three times, not including the spin. And that took me about eight and a half minutes. So, and considering that's only 14 seconds slower, and I think that's almost entirely because I spun going down the end of that main straight and I hit the curb. I'm just going to say that as, yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, hmm, the AI needs work, that's, that's what I'm going to say. If I can almost beat the AI, or probably could have beaten the AI, if I didn't spin then, with no assists, no HUD, at pitch black darkness, middle of the night, and I can overtake them on professional level AI, I'm going to say the AI needs improvement. But yet, I, I challenge you... I challenge you to try and do this. I challenge all of you to race a car with no headlights like the Chaparral. I thought I would recommend a Chaparral at midnight around the Nürburgring and actually try and overtake the AI. Yeah, put one AI in at professional and try and beat him. Yeah, that's a great idea. But with that note, I'm gonna say that it is definitely possible and that was a lot of fun. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.